So then what are pattern languages? The more formal definition is they are a coherent system of, of patterns. So very often, if you have a huge software project, you apply multiple patterns. You don't apply a single pattern. And they, this, this means that they, the, the patterns have to work together. And there are some patterns which work very well together and some which are not very yeah, compatible to each other. And a pattern language describes exactly this. So a pattern language contains which patterns are in there. It describes the relations between these patterns and it describes some principles. So if, uh, if you want to apply these patterns, maybe you should start with this pattern and then build upon this pattern to develop other stuff. So um, these are some guidelines how to apply this whole pattern language. Okay. Yeah, I basically said that already. So what are good combinations? What are bad combinations of patterns? And how, does, how can your software evolve over time? And maybe there are some patterns which are only usable or only reasonable if you have a very complicated or a very big project already. And there are some patterns which can be applied right off the bat in very easy projects. Okay, so daily life examples of patterns would be, of course, cooking, sports, sailing, architecture. And if I can move out of the way, <laughs> sorry. And of course, programming. Because that's why we are here. <laughs>